you got that southern hospitality. Look, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm from Louisiana, okay? Y'all are considered the North. <laughs> I was born and raised in Louisiana. I love it with all my heart. It's one of my favorite. Who's from Louisiana? I hear you scream. Chasing squirrels. Y'all still doing good up top? Good. Some people say, like, you know, if you're up at the top, it's like you're so far away and all this stuff. Personally, I love being up at the top because I can see everything so clear. And the sound is always good at the top. So, y'all are my people up there. How are you doing? I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank y'all for being here. So, um, this place is gonna feel like a living room by the end of the night. It's my favorite thing in the world. I, uh, I named the tour the Kaleidoscope Tour. I wanted to give everybody a really good spelling word. <laughs> All the teachers are like, thank you. Fifth grade, they're like, I don't have to teach Kaleidoscope anymore. K-A-L-E-I-D-O-C-O-P-E. Kaleidoscope. Now, the reason why I named it the Kaleidoscope Tour is because we have this song called Kaleidoscope Jesus. And my manager, she said, you should call it the Kaleidoscope Tour. Because I'm like, I love getting lost inside of fun and excitement and curiosity. And that's what a kaleidoscope brings out of me. My Aunt Tracy, she had a, a kaleidoscope collection when I was growing up. And I would just go and look in those kaleidoscopes and get lost inside a world of wonder. It was like so incredible. So you have all these fragments, right? Some of them have sharp edges, they're all, you know, broken glass. Some of them have beads, they're all different shapes and sizes and colors. And you shove them all in one space, and then you put it up to the light. And when you do, something beautiful comes through. It's an image that only happens one time. Because the second you turn that dial, it's gone. It's permanently erased. You'll never get all those pieces in that exact order ever again. The light won't be at the exact angle ever again. It's just beautiful. It's powerful. You have to be present. You have to be in that one little moment. And that's what touring feels like. You all come in with your different stories. Some of you, your hearts are shattered in a million pieces and you're just trying to figure out how to put it all back together again. Some of you come in here, you've got everything figured out. You got all the smooth edges, yeah. Some of you come in with a world of sorrow and some of you come in with the greatest heights of joy. And we all get to collect these stories in one singular moment. You all bring them in here. And tonight is the only night that we'll all be together, that we have this arrangement of people, this cluster of humans in one space. But we get a night to take our stories and put them up to the light and say, God, what are you going to do tonight? What glory are you going to reveal? What are you going to do in my story that is transformative, that's powerful, that's beautiful? What image are we about to come across? I love it so much. It's like my favorite thing. I, I can't wait to sit next to Jesus every night that I'm in heaven. I don't know if there is night, but you know what I'm saying. The theophostic people are like, that is absolutely wrong. Apologize. You nailed the wrong thing once. I'm like, oh, I'm figuring it out as I go. 
So here I am uh, up in heaven, right? This is going to be the deal. I'm going to sit next to Jesus and I'm going to say, Did you see the faces that I saw? Did you see what happened every single night? That was pretty wild. I wish I could show the view that I get to be a part of every night. It is such a gift. You are all treasures to me. I hold this so dear. I'm so, so grateful to get to do this and to get to share the love of Christ with every person in the room. You might not know Jesus, and that's okay. You get to come and just give a good amount of love tonight. We, we are so grateful to be here. Um, if you ever want to write a good song, you know, you just go to a counseling session first. All the counselors in the building, thank you. <laughs> we love you. Um, I, I went to uh, this counseling session and then I scheduled a co-write right after, like a crazy person. And um, the question she was asking me in the process, my counselor that is, she said, uh, what are you trying to answer with your life? Actions, like what actions are you trying to answer? And the thing that after a series of questions I boiled it down to was am I valuable? It was like the question I was trying to ask myself um, all throughout life. And it's really interesting because you can say, oh, look at what all you have, look at you, you're up here on stage and all this. But I still ask the same questions that each one of you do. And um, this is a moment I got to go, pulled my car over afterwards and I started working on this chorus and I finished it with a, someone by the name of Lori McKenna. If you listen to country music, you've crossed her path, I'm sure. She's an incredible writer. This is one of my favorite songs on the record. And if you need to know that you belong here tonight, there's a reason why you are here on this planet. This song is for you. It's called Valuable.